Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of the Tech Views Note. And today I'm going to show you how to see which one of your ports is open and vulnerable and how to tell which one to close. Um, also I'm going to show you what is your, your computer, specifically your browser, giving out as far as what type of information it's giving out about you. Now, there's a couple of things I want to mention before we jump on in. First off, everything I'm going to show, the specifically, it's going to be like a website that does a remote detection, so you don't have to download anything that's free. But the link to it is going to be down below in the description. But um, as far as doing this particular test, I wouldn't advise doing it on any other computer than your own, because if you do it on any other machine than your own, it can and most likely will be looked at as malicious. So explaining it to the cops on just trying to figure out how it works or helping out someone is probably not going to go well, especially when you start going in front of a judge. Because as we all know, these people are not really tech technical at all and uh, they throw away the key, unfortunately, when they shouldn't have. So as far as things goes, uh, the other thing is, is if you're a basic user with your computer, you, you should be able to keep up and, and whatnot. I'll, I'll try to explain things in slight detail, but um, you should be seeing similar results each and every time you do this. However, if you're an advanced user like myself, where I use my computer for many, many things other than just being a computer itself, then you're probably going to see different results each and every time that you run this and you might see some stuff that's open and vulnerable depending on what exactly you're doing with your computer at a given time all right as far as things goes again i'm going to be using a vpn so my ip is going to be not mine it's going to be somewhere else in la la land but um when you do this um on the next page or the one after that you should see your IP I'll get into that in a second but as far as this goes again this is a the link it's down below in the description this is free deal just go down to proceed and go to file sharing and your IP should be within this area right here so mine is hooked up to a VPN so it's in the la la land it could be in Russia all I know but um, as far as this goes, uh, basically this is going to show you what is open and what's not. And basically you want to have something like this, uh, really any time that you use your computer at all. So um, something that looks like this and, um, and this. Again, this will depend on exactly what you're doing for a computer at this given time. If you're a basic user, um, that, that's, that's what you need to be looking for. Now let's go down to common ports. And again, some of these are going to be open. Some of these are going to be closed. Uh, and, and yours might even say, I think, stealth. I'm not really sure if this one says it. But um, again, depending on what you're doing for your computer, it's going to be depending on what, what's going to be open and whatnot. But uh, some of these are okay to be open. Um, again, depending on what you're doing. Exactly. Just read these three parts to figure out exactly what this means, and you can read the description to each each uh, open or closed port uh, next to each one of them, so you know what, what, which is what. Let's go to all service ports. Now, again, this is one of the things I was talking about where. If you run it at different times, it's going to give you different results. I ran this uh, less than five minutes ago, and none of these blocks were green. Uh, I, I ran this a day ago, and nearly every one of these blocks were green, except for, I think, three of them, and the three were red. So it depends on what exactly you're doing with your computer. Even as a basic user, you might see a slight difference. But um, especially for advanced users like myself, you're going to see a difference each and every time. So just keep that one in mind. 
What you're looking for is majority of them are uh, blocked and you can figure out exactly which is not by just hovering over the blocks. Now I'm skipping over the messenger spam and that's because I don't use it and I don't think a lot of people use messenger. Um, I think it's Microsoft Messenger anymore. So if you do use it, you might want to give that a try, but for the most part, I, I don't use it. This is what your browser actually says about you. Now, as far as it's saying some of this stuff, it's not a bad thing. It's just uh, telling the website what what exact operating system you're running, what uh, or, or the amount of operating system you're running, what um, browser you're running, and so on. And it's pretty important because th the reason why you will want this, some of this information to show is if say for example you're using a mobile device and you're going to a website say like mine you are going to get a different theme if you're using a mobile device versus a regular desktop device so when you use a desktop you get a full view like this where a mobile device you get a single column because you don't have that screen space and a single column is a lot better than having a person scroll left and right up and down and side and do whatever just to read something or to do something they don't have to they shouldn't have to scroll three or four times to the right just to hit a button then scroll to the left just to read something so that that's that's the reason why you'll want some of this stuff to be shown and uh and on the desktop if it was a mobile you would just see one column and that's it so as far as um, everything being in a small column on on the middle. Now you could read all the stuff, and I'll, I'll advise you to you know read a lot of it to get more informed. But this information, for the most part, is not going to hurt that much, depending on what it's showing for you. But anyways, this has been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of TechFuse and Up, and this has been a quick overview on the. Uh, how to figure out which one of your ports is open. Um, if, if you want to get a little bit more information on ports and stuff, then I'll have a link below to a video where I'm talking more. And that way you can get an actual detailed understanding on ports and layer 4 on the OSI model. But anyways, this has been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of TechView Snope. If you got any questions, then leave them below in the comment section. If you've got any tips on how to see your ports or how, how to do some of this stuff in easier ways or different ways, then leave that below in the comment section so people can know what to do and, and where to go. And um, if you like this, then please like, please subscribe, please share, and I hope you have a great day. And please visit techviewsnope.com.